On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me six geese a laying. Five gold rings, four calling birds, three French heads, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Welcome back. It is the sixth day of Christmas today. Six geese a laying. Another bird. <laughs> So many birds in the 12 days of Christmas. This is uh, my takeaway from uh, this experience. I hope you enjoy. There's going to be some uh, wacky ones in there, or one particularly wacky one in there. We're going to start seated. So come to a cross-legged position and just roll the shoulders back and just close the eyes. Resting palms down on knees, on thighs, or turning palms facing up. Whatever feels good. If it doesn't feel comfortable to close the eyes, just lower the gaze. And just take three deep breaths here. Just grounding yourself in. Just checking in with yourself. How do you feel today? Six days of maybe taking one of these every day. How are you feeling physically, mentally? It's a weird time of year. And it's a weird space <laughs> between the two different places. So just take a minute. And then gently, if they're closed, just fluttering open the eyes. And we're just going to relax the right ear towards the right shoulder. You might want to drop your hands to the floor here, just to kind of find a full extension. Try not to rise that right shoulder up to the right ear. Just gently tipping right ear towards right shoulder. And then maybe taking that right hand and placing it on top of left ear, not pressing, just acting as a bit of a weight. Just acting as a little more of a stretch. Maybe then those left fingertips come into the mat, kind of pressing, opposing away. Taking a deep breath here, stretching out the neck. And then gently bring your head back to center. Take right hand down to the floor, release your left ear towards left shoulder might feel like such a tiny movement, that's cool. Try not to pull that left shoulder up to meet the left ear. And then maybe taking left hand on top of right ear, just weighing it down slightly. That's all it's doing, adding a little weight to it. Maybe sending those right fingertips out a little more to find that stretch. And then gently release, preparing that long necked goose. <laughs> Going to switch the cross of the legs. So just taking the other leg in front. So for me, I'm switching to have my left foot in front. And just place the hands on the knees. We're going to find a seated cat cow here. So roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. You're that goose sitting, waiting, looking out by the river. Rise the chest, exhale to curve. Press the spine back behind you. This might feel lovely as well after yesterday's back bending. Inhale, lift the chest forward. Take it slow. Exhale, press spine back behind you. Just finding this seated cat cow. Feeling into that goose within. <laughs> Starting to sit up and tall as you move through this. Puffing up those feathers. And then the next time you come back through center, just release it there and press your hands in front of your legs and step your feet back to find a downward facing dog. Taking a big exhale. Gosh, if only there was a dog as a gift 
in one of the 12 days of Christmas because finding a lot of those. Reach the hips high, spread those fingers. Just find your dog. Just take a moment. How does it feel today? It might feel very different from yesterday. It might feel different from the day before, the day before that. But just see how it feels today. Do you need a bit more of a bend in your knees, a rise of the hips? And then start to step up towards the hands, a little goose strut all the way up to the top of the mat. And as you inhale, lift your hands to shins, find a half lift, send the bum back, chest forward, exhale, release it down. Inhale, rise the arms all the way up. And exhale to take it straight back down, arms wide as you press the bum back forward fold, inhale, bring your hands to shins, find that half lift again, exhale, release and step right and left foot back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, shift forward into a plank, exhale to lower the knees and then lower the body all the way to the floor, inhaling to spread the fingers, rise your goose chest all the way up. Lovely, exhale, release it all the way back down. Inhale to press back to knees, tuck your toes, lift those hips high, downward facing dog. Now let's start to move into some goose shapes. Inhale, rise your right leg as high as you can. Exhale, step it through between the hands. And we're gonna ground this back foot to find a warrior one. So toes pointing towards the top left-hand corner of the mat. You can find a bit of space between the feet here. And rise the arms up above you. That front leg is bent, back leg is straight. And you want to kind of press your hips forward. So both hips are forward. So it might mean that you slightly need to bring that right hip back, left hip forward. Place those hips square to the front of the mat. Now lift your arms above your head. Can you find a little goose head with your hands? I hope you can see my hands. I'll bring them down here. I'm lifting my arms up straight and just finding that little goose head, taking the arms out in front. <laughs> A little goose head, roll the shoulders back. <laughs> yes, tuck the bum like under, kind of press the bum forward to really switch on your thigh. <laughs> Find that little goose head. Lovely. Take a deep breath. And then fly, goose fly. Press the weight into the front foot, send the arms back behind you. Left leg lift. Yes, flying goose. We're only there for a second. Let's ground that foot back into that warrior one. So toes pointing towards top left hand corner of the mat. Rise the arms up and then take them back behind you. Clasp the hands, roll the shoulders back. Our goose is going down to eat. It spotted something in the water, something awful that someone's don't get me off on a rant about feeding the geese and all the... Maybe it's something really nice. It's found a really nice fish. Is that what goose, geese eat, perhaps? Roll the shoulders back. And as you exhale, can you lower your body to the inside of this right leg? Roll that right hip back. Try not to press onto that right thigh. Tip the tip of your head down towards the mat. Yes, one more breath here. And then release the hands, step back to your plank. <laughs> Lovely. And move through a flow, maybe lowering the knees, lowering the body down. Inhaling to your cobra. Exhaling to press it back down to the mat. Inhaling to knees. Tucking the toes, pressing the hips high. Downward facing dog. Now inhale, lift that left leg high, reach it all the way up. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Let's set up for that warrior one on this side. So back foot is down, back leg is straight, right toes are pointing towards top right hand corner. Lifting the arms up, there's a bend in that front leg. 
as we are with our other standing poses, you want that knee stacked over ankle. So they're moving the width to kind of suit that. Really wrapping that left hip back behind you, right hip comes forward, press the bum forward, reach the arms up, and maybe find that little goose head, reaching the fingers forward. <laughs> I don't know if you can see my hands, <laughs> have to check after, but they are like this. <laughs> My arms are long and together with a little goose head. Goosey goosey. Yes. <laughs> take one more breath here. And then our goose is going to take flight just for a breath. Sending the arms back behind you as you step onto the front foot. Send the left foot back. Maybe your face is in a plant like mine. It's just what happens when the geese fly. Did you know that geese always fly in a V? Always. Exhale, drop that foot down back into that warrior one. They always dry. drive, <laughs> they always fly in a V. And so if one gets tired, another swoops in to be the top of the V and to take over. It's really lovely, lovely geese. They're very sociable, <laughs> very sociable geese. <laughs> okay, inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale, take them back behind you. Find that clasp opposite thumb on top. Other way round, roll the shoulders back and then release your body to the inside of this left leg. Hands back behind you, tip of head down towards the mat, wrap that left hip back behind you, try not to use that left leg as a place to balance yourself. One more breath here. That goose is feeding on something lovely and then release the hands, step back into your plank, move through a flow that feels good. Roll the shoulders back, press up to your knees, find that downward facing dog and breathe. Now start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Take a bend in the legs. Walking all the way back, feet are still hip width apart. Tuck chin into chest and roll all the way up. Rolling the shoulders back as you come up to stand. Now we're gonna take this goose on a little walk because that's where I see the geese the most. Not in the water, <laughs> beside the water. My dog is a very big fan of their poo at the moment, which is great, really uh, positive step in his development. <laughs> but they're always walking, always walking along, really casually, quite slowly. <laughs> no rush for the geese, or where I am anyway. <laughs> so we're just gonna step forward with this right foot, halfway up the mat. And we're gonna find that kind of warrior one foot that we were finding before. So back foot is pointing towards the top left hand corner. So it's slightly at that 45 degree angle. But this time both legs are straight. Bring your hands to your hips. Roll that right hip back. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. And a little goose walk. And then he's just gonna stop and pick up some food. So we're gonna press the bum back twist and fold over this right leg. It's straight, but there's a little bend in the knee. Fold all the way down, maybe keep the hands on hips, maybe drop them to the side. If you've got blocks here that you would like to use, use them. Plant your hands on something that feels good. Roll that right hip back, finding our little pyramid strut as our goose stops to eat. Now tuck chin into chest, roll all the way up. Maybe make that little goose shape with your hand. Goose, goose. <laughs> Ready? Certainly is a goose shape, but that's okay. We're gonna step this left foot to the top of the mat. So we're taking this goose step a little further forward. The goose is still stepping. Right foot, back foot is pointing top right hand corner of the mat. Both legs are straight, little bend in that front leg. Hands on hips, roll that left hip back, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Oh, goose stops for some food. <laughs> Take the bum back. This is also like taking my dog for a walk and him stopping for the goose poo. <laughs> Every five seconds. <laughs> Release yourself down so you're folding, you're twisting and folding over this left leg. Maybe keeping hands on hips, maybe dropping those hands down. Both legs are straight here, but a little softness in the knees, never overextending if you can help it. Taking some breaths. In your little goose pose. 
and then tuck chin into chest. Roll your way all the way back, rolling the shoulders, maybe a little goose with your hands. Goose, goose. Lovely, jubbly. Yes. And then step all the way to the front of the mat. And just bring your feet together. Rise up to your tiptoes, lift your arms, exhale, bring them through heart centre as you bend all the way down, sitting down into that little squat. Take your knees wide, relax your goose, send it forward. Now, this is where it's about to get a little weird. So when I was looking at this, I was like, there must be a goose pose, surely, at some point. Now the only pose that came up as nearly goose pose, or as named as a goose pose, is incredibly weird and really hard. So I'm gonna take a variation of it here. Now some of you may have done before. Also, this is really tough, okay? Like this is for playtime, this is for, let's have a go, it might not happen. It might not understand how on earth this is gonna happen. That's totally cool, okay? Just disclaimer here, this, I'm just throwing in something wacky. <laughs> because I wanted desperately to find you a goose for the geese are laying. Um, also, it doesn't look anything like a goose, but anyway, it's fine. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna attempt it. So there, some of you may know a um, baby crow. Now, the crow pose is where you're pressing your knees into your upper arms and then taking your feet off the ground. A baby crow is when your forearms are on the ground and you're sending your knees into the back of your arms and then lifting the toes off the ground. So it's kind of like a weird version of a baby crow. <laughs> the full expression, if you would like to take it, is a lotus. I'm not going to take a lotus because I can't. I can take a lotus, but I can't figure out how to lift them my legs. Because what you're going to do is find that baby crow, so forearms to the ground. I kind of get myself slightly up with my toes in my cross-legged position. <laughs> Bring the legs to the back of the arms and then find a lift and a balance. So you're in a cross-legged position, balancing on the back of your upper arms. <laughs> Have a play. You could find a lotus. I would love to hear if you managed it, if you, you know why it's a goose pose and why it looks like a goose. <laughs> Tell me in them comments. <laughs> Tap me up. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd throw it in. Just for a little bit of, we're on day six, we're halfway. Don't worry, that was wacky, okay? <laughs> anyway, thank goodness we're now back into the calming part of the class. So, gooses aside, whew, place the soles of your feet down to the mat. Rise the arms out in front, palms facing up, and then just gently lower yourself. Can you take your time here, where it's sticky, releasing yourself back down to the mat. Yes, which feels wondrous. We're going to wrap your right leg over your left. So crossing that right leg over your left. And inch your hips slightly to the right and then send the knees over to the left into a twist. You can have your arms long here or in a cactus, you can gaze over that right hand. If this doesn't feel comfy at all, just bring those knees together like they were into your chest and take them over to the left. The extra twist may be a bit too much. Try and press your shoulders down into the mat wherever you are. and start to bring it down. Releasing on this last exhale and then inhaling to gently bring them back up to center and wrap that right leg, cross the left leg over right, send the hips over to the left and then knees over to the right, find your twist. Maybe gazing over that left hand, maybe just gazing up. Grounding your shoulder blades into the mat. Finding a deep breath here.
Take one final breath. And then as you inhale, bring your knees up to center. Send your legs out long. Arms maybe stay out to the side. Snuggle the shoulder blades underneath you. Curl the fingertips into the palms. And release it. You made it halfway. Sixth day of Christmas. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I know the links are tenuous, but that's why we love them. <laughs> Might not be. That's okay. Um, join me again tomorrow. We do have another bird. Yes. A water-based bird. A beautiful bird. Swans are swimming. What on earth is that going to look like? Oh, it's going to be a treat. <laughs> I'll see you again tomorrow.